Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Shop well. Shop Quicksell. You got that? Alright, so after the last episode, we did pretty well. We picked up that avatar. Um, I advanced the timeline slightly. We got all our mechs back. In fact, except for the Centurion, it's getting its uh, rotary fixed. So I figure we can actually take a mission today with uh, at least part of the new Lance. The uh, Quicksell um, Lance here. Because we do have a mission I can actually take with three mechs. So, I'm just going to show you what these two guys have got on. This guy's not quite back yet. We've got another six days for repairs here. But I'm kind of actually really pleased like, with how these mechs turn out. Because the, the fact that these guys... I mean, you've got... So, all these quick cell mechs, the lower ones, seems like they've only got three hard points. But because they're omni hard points, you can put whatever you want in them. Which allows you to be really creative with your, your weapons builds, I find. And um, although some other mechs might have more hard points... This kind of generic three hard point um, build across the board kind of lets you be a little bit more versatile with your mechs. So with the uh, Valkyrie here, let's have a quick look at it. Now I tried to get, I mean, I don't have a lot of Quicksell gear, obviously. So we were stuck with Quicksell Pharaoh. We got regular Endo Steel in here because it lowers the weight a little bit. Well, we got three Quicksell Jump Jets in here to give us a little bit of jump capability. Uh, movement is, you know, 710 with a uh, jump of, what do we got a jump of? Max jump 2. Not very far, but it's enough to get us to a couple positions if we need to. Viewmaster cockpit in here, pirate ECM, Probe King QS uh, for better detection of enemies. But we're running three chem lasers on this because I don't have double heat sink kits for these mechs, right? So what I was able to do was add a large chem laser in each arm and a medium chem laser. Um, we did have an advanced zoom I was able to drop in here and a, and a uh, rocket pack 15. We're short on a bit of weight here, but we're maxed on our armor, which is, you know, the most important thing. And we've got a double uh, set of uh, large cam ammo because that's really all I had. So we've got uh, 20 shots for each of the large cam lasers and the medium cam ammo. We have half a time, which is 15 shots, which is plenty. So it's actually, the damage output in this is actually not that bad. We have nine variable damage, but we're averaging, you know, what, 40, 80, 105 damage, which isn't too bad uh, if you consider it pinpoint damage. It's not too bad for the amount of weight in the weight class. So, yeah, I, I think this one turned out half decent with what I had. And then the commando, one of the commandos, let's have a look at this guy. And we'll refit. Once again, it's sporting the Viewmaster cockpit. And this one I had to be very careful once again because um, we, once again we don't have a double heat sink kit. But I was able to get a clan exchanger in here to drop some heat. Which is nice because it's minus 15 heat per turn. So I was able to go with a little bit more than I normally would have. we got a compact actuator in the arm here. This, I mean it lowers the arm mounted weapons damage. but Or our uh, chance to hit. But there's nothing in this arm so it should be fine. Bolt on incendiaries. We were able to put our uh, SRM streak that we had from the... Stealth that I took out and put a regular SRM6 into or MML into and put it on here for a little accuracy. Medium X pulse in the arm for a little accuracy. ER medium laser for a little range. A few extra heat sinks to keep our cooling nice here. So it's actually pretty good. Like overall, it's actually not bad. I was able to put some light ferro in here, which gained us a bit of gained, gained us a bit of weight. Uh, or no, sorry, it uh, gained us a bit of armor. So the. Uh, Pharaoh QS is actually drops more weight, but it actually lowers the amount of armor you actually have. So it lowers your armor value in all your locations. And I, so that's why I threw the light Pharaoh in here. We lo we um, lost a bit of like weight and space to put stuff in. But since I already had what I needed in here, uh, I figured we get more armor because it is a commando. You want to kind of bump it up as best you can. So that's kind of what I did. And uh, yeah, that one turned out okay too. Now we did, obviously we need more headgear and stuff. That, that's it seems to be the bane of most of my playthroughs now is that I'm, not, I'm having a hard time finding good headgear. Now we just picked this up the last episode, so I'm not dropping it in this guy today. But I mean, we could go with Artemis, but that adds a ton, you know. And we've already got the Viewmaster cockpit, which eats up a space. So does the Artemis. So I can't get them both in there. It's one or the other. So yeah, that's it for this guy. So let's take this mission. 
going to go all quick sell today, quick sell chassis. So the mission I got set up here is a one skull up here, flying tigers. They got a single heavy air asset that they want to use the uh, destruction of an isolated enemy force. So we're supposed to provide the additional support, which is great because we actually have, we're going to go full salvage on this. We got three mechs, so that should work out perfectly. So let's pull out you guys. We're not going to go with our main pilots. Now I haven't 100% decided who is going to be in this second lance yet. So let's put you in there with the panther. We'll bring the Valkyrie down. We'll bring this guy down. And we were going to run the Scorpion Quick Cell with the double AC2s. And I believe the Galleon, correct? Two medium cam lasers. Let's run. The, I'm going to bring you down, but I'm going to bring the fire truck down as well. I think I want to try and overheat some targets. See if we can get some salvage today. So pilots. Now Junker is... You are Galleon, fire truck, and Stormcrow. You were the backup pilot. Let's bring you in. Let's bring you in the fire truck. You have a little bit of experience. So who, do, who else do we have here? So Big Texas with some tactics. Uh, Comstar and Technician. Scooter, who I screwed up on our uh, thing here. i got to fix that. Actually, I want to bring in him because he's been around longer. So let's put him there. Vision is going to go in the main land. So Venom is actually a main lance pilot as well. So we got Ripley for the other vehicle. So let's bring him down. And then I guess it's going to have to be Big Texas. Yeah, because this is cluster, right? Oh, this is cautious. Uh, maybe we bring that. Yeah, we'll bring it down for the commando. Sure. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's do this. Yeah, I know it's got unused tonnage. Command interface initiated. Alright, let's do this. Right out in the open, are they? Well, we'll see. They might have reinforcements. Alright, going down the valley. Let's start up here. We don't have to get too much closer. I think that's going to be fine. I think that'll be fine. Let's go where they're to. Oh, is that a blackjack? What is that? Could be. Urban mech, it's an urban mech lance. Are you kidding me? Stinger. Harasser Thunderbolt platform. Oh, that's interesting. Um, who's up? Well, the junker's yep. up. Let's get that fire truck rolling. Uh, there's no way we can get a place where they can't see it. Oh, right here. I'm picking up a new sensor tree. Ooh, okay. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Well, that's... I don't know whether that's good or bad. Saracen. A couple of... A Vespa? A Ripper? And Mortar Technical. Well, that guy's got to go. Okay, so this should be a good fight then. I was, I was like, worried that it wasn't going to end up being a good fight. Got to see what our air asset is, too. I'm ready. Are ya? All right, that's just their air assets. We're going to move in. Yeah, they're out of range. Let's bring this down. So I don't forget, turn it on. I was really hoping for some quick sell gear here, but it's not happening. What are you firing? Light damage, commander. Is it just is that 3 or 1? It's a single weapon. Oh, that's interesting. Wonder what it's got on it. Okay, you got a large laser. R6. R5. Oof. Heavy rifle. Nidhogg's got a shit ton of armor though, so... Receiving. Hopefully it doesn't have to do all the heavy lifting in this fight. All right, you got some range. Okay. ER medium. Let's move in a bit. See if we can get a shot off at one of these copters here. Oh, just with the bolt-on rockets, huh? 
Well, 14%. Yeah, I think I'll hold off till we get a little closer. Receiving you. Turn one is always so garbage. You, on the other hand, let's get into here. That's some speed on this Valkyrie, though. It's nice. It's a little faster than my other mechs. We'll take the shot. We got lots of ammo with this. This battle lasts 20 turns. We got a problem. Nothing. That's all right. That's all right, man. That's all right. Hopefully, this nid. I don't even know what the hell the nid hog has. Okay. Light damage. Holding firm. ERPPC clan and two guided bomb racks. Commander. Let's do that to start. Get up here. Understood. Moving fast. I don't particularly want to fight the urban mech, so how about I like just give this guy to the urban mech? Feed him urban mechs. It's good chances to hit though. Yeah, let's just feed you the Urban Max, I think. I think we got to be a lot closer for these to work. Alright. Yeah, periphery rifle, heavy rifle. May I interest you in melting armor? Ooh, Take see ya. That. Good to go. That's some PR damage. Get it? Periphery rifle damage? <laughs> ah, that's funny. Alright, let's get up here and see if these quick sell twos can do anything. Double AC2s. You never lose with double AC2. We got incendiary ammo. What else in standard? Incendiary does more. Let's use that. Here they come. Copy that. Hopefully we don't get a misfire. Because the AC2s are... I've only got one slot, I think. So once they misfire, they're done. So this might be a limited use vehicle. That's the mortar technical. That guy's got to go. Systems holding. Reporting. Minimal damage. I can't believe we picked up an avatar in that last battle. I thought for sure when we took him down that we weren't going to get three parts. I'm not exactly sure how we got three parts out of that. Ready for order. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that he's an Omni. I don't know, but it just felt to me like we shouldn't have got those that many parts. This guy's got to go. So let's see if we can kill him. Actually, yeah. Nope, not today. I don't want this Nidhogg to do all the heavy, heavy lifting if I can avoid it. I want to see how my lance performs here. I mean, yeah, they're going to be shooting for him, though, but he's pretty much the only guy they can see. And with Phantom Mech on, it should help him out a bit. It's like two chevrons of evasion, I think, and then increased sensor sensors and whatever else it is. Like, it decreases the enemy sensors, gives you plus two ECM or some shit. It's pretty good. Oof, nice shot. My armor's getting stripped off. Yeah, but you got lots of it, so don't worry about it. Waiting for orders. It's me E. Can't get a good solid line on that Urban Mac, so let's get in here. That's pretty good in the stinger. Uh let's go for a, let's go for some solid hits in the stinger. That's not gonna the combat shotgun's not gonna cluster at that range, so it should do a lot of damage to this guy. Firing all weapons. Ooh, yeah, man, big alphas. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, he's not liking that. He is not liking that at all. That guy's gotta go. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, I know. Systems holding. That guy. What do you need? What's up with the speed all of a sudden? 
Thought we had more speed than that. Yeah. Well, let's Let get it where we can do some damage then. Oh, it's the pilot, right? This pilot doesn't have the, uh... Yeah, that's what it is. The pilot doesn't have the, uh, bonus speed. Copy that. Well, at least we did one point damage. We might need this Nidhogg to do some work for us. Sad to say, but... All right, BT. Let's see if we can remove this stinger. Double time. Plus, urban mech hasn't gone yet. I got a feeling the urban mech's gonna go against the uh, copter, though. Nice. Got past the armor. Two or three health. One or three health. Still gonna stay in there, are you? Yeah, you better back up. He's only backing up because he realizes that he's up against Quicksell Max. That's what it is. Yes, Commander. Like I can't win this now. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to win this? I'm gonna put you in there. Affirmative. Trying to spread out a little bit here if I can. Fire at this guy. Hopefully we land something here. Firing a full salvo. Nope. No joy. Yeah, with those, uh... I mean, it goes without saying with any weapon, but more so with the double ACs for the quick sell, you definitely want to make sure that you've uh, got the best chance you can possibly get on them to hit. Because if it... If the first one misses, the second one misses, right? So it's like... You just want to make sure that you're capitalizing on everything. Uh, I'm going to Vigilance you. Because we are going to move in here. The Stinger's down. down. So we should be able to clean that up this turn. This guy's taking damage. Let's see if we can blow through... Well, hopefully hit his side. I'm going to put the rockets on, see if we can trash him right here. Well, there goes the whole left side. Reporting. Critical hit. Nice. I'm out of SRMs. It's alright, man. My whole house just vibrated there for a second. Yes. Ready for orders. Alright, Scooter. Um How far can you get? That's pretty good there. Just running. Got it. Let's get up here and we're going to finish off this stinger. Because I don't want anything from him. Aye, aye. See ya. Tango down. Down and not Stay getting nine. up. Let's push. Roger. Hopefully being in quick cell is not ma making me too overconfident here. Uh, let's just go with this. Target yes. That's a kill. Didn't even stand a chance. Yeah, you better run. War first, we protected, baby. Thank you, Panther. What do you need? I need you to get in there and do something to these guys. Understood. Moving fast. We definitely need to get you some more skill here with the with the vehicle. Crank up that movement speed. This thing's far less dangerous with less movement speed, that's for sure. Ooh, nice damage. Oh, you got it too. Mech destroyed. You got that right. Ready for orders. How are we doing with the double ACs? Looks like they're all still functioning. Let's just back up to here. We're going to go into AA mode again. There is an, I know there is an AA mode here. 
AA stance. Does that take up my turn if I do this? Let's just try. Okay, AA stance. But can I... So I guess I take a turn to set up for AA. We'll find out. I gotta play around with some of these new features because I haven't really touched them at all. So I don't know if the AA stance gives me a bonus to hit against aircraft. I await your command. Harasser, what do you got on you? A pair of missile launchers. Let's get into here. Oh, it's not bad. That's even better. My PPC plus capacitor. No armor. Let's go after that guy. Yes. See ya. Full alphas, baby. Full alphas. Enemy down. Standing by. Uh, I'm gonna send you out to this guy over here. Let's use the bomb racks because we have, haven't had a chance to use those yet. Plus, you're far enough away from everybody. 99% chance. Oh my god. Oh, that's punishing. Yeah, he's running. He's like, fuck this shit. Why is there an invisible force field here? All right, nice shooting. Reporting minor damage. Nice shooting. We still got what? The Valkyrie left? No. The Valkyrie's gone. You better run. We're coming for you. All right, nice shot. All right, get him hard now. See if we can get some, uh, I'm going to be using a bomb rack over there. I better not uh, go that route. Let's go into here, though. Going full throttle. We'll let Jenkins take care of the other aircraft, I think. We'll get you onto the mech here. 48. Yeah, I'll go after the mech. That's pretty good. We got one. All right, not bad. I will be done. All right, we're gonna walk into here, get our stability back, kill this aircraft. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, we're close enough. Ooh, not quite enough. Good to go. All right, BT, um... Ooh, that's brutal, brutal, eh? What's going on here? Brutal. Oh, I don't think you have a uh, targeting up here. That's probably why. Just shoot this guy. Got the angle. Take Finish the him off. Oh, nice. Popped him like a zit. I'm your spaniel. Hey, where are you going? I still have some bombs left. I have a few bombs left. Where are you going? Here, here's some more of my bombs for you. Target acquired. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this nidhog. Do the math, chief. One less target. The only problem with the nidhog is because it's up so high that it would just be a target. If like later stages of the game, I'm assuming because it's so high up, everybody's just shooting for it. Orders? No, you got no aircraft to shoot. <laughs> oh well, so much for AA stands. Oh, crap. Um, all right, we got to check on accuracy oh, yeah. here. Let's see if we can sneak some rounds past our guys here. We're on incendiary, so... Roger that. Nothing. Just trying to keep their heads down, though. Fine. 
go to here. Yeah, this thing heats up, man. Not much I can do about it, though. Leave you off. Confirm. Ooh, nice shot. Yes, there you go. Mech destroyed. Let's try and get everybody a kill today. Yep. Let's move. Burn! Burn him! I'm taking the shot. Ooh, all four hit. There you go. Yes, Commander. Let's go to there. Moving to position. Ah, uh, let's end this. Acknowledge. Ooh, miss. Okay. Orders. Ooh, this is going to be tough for this guy. Should have chose a faster mech, buddy. Is that enough? Ah, uh, the right side's gone, though. Ooh, that hit something good. Receiving you. Let's clear up the Bunker. left side. Don't need any scrap from this guy. All right, we'll drop the heat there. Firing. Definitely gonna need to find something for this guy to drop that heat. I mean, if I can get an exchanger or something, we—I think we do have one, but I don't want to waste it on this guy. Oh, that's so sad for you. Oh, maybe the Quicksilver Scorpion can actually do something now that he's shut down. We haven't jammed yet. Let's go for a headshot. See what happens. Affirmative. I think I hit something good. Yeah, he's heating up pretty bad here. Get over here. Let's see if we can take his head clean off. Unlikely. Come on, just bail out. That hit some. Bail out. Jesus, you're still gonna hang on, are you? I live to serve. Still gonna hang on. Look at I'm still gonna dream and get, hopefully we get the headshot here. Confirm. Nope. That was all CT. That was a core kill. That's a kill. That is. Mission successful. Alright, well maybe our lance is rated at one and a half then. We'll have to try a one and a half with this lance when it's fully up and running. So it was pretty evenly distributed here between our guys, a couple of kills each. Nothing for the Scorpion, but not much we can do really do about that. Although I'm probably going to have to change out that mech if it can't hit. Which is a big deal. Harasser. Yeah, we're getting a lot of parts here. So ER large, heavy rifle. Wait, is there heavy rifle ammo? Heavy rifle Sabo. Because I'm thinking about the heavy rotary that we have. I'm having a hard time finding the ammo, so I wonder if we grab that. So you have TBM-5 as well. There's a pair of them here. 30 damage for 3 tons. Mm, it's kind of comparable to a uh, plasma... Or not a plasma, a uh, light PPC. So this is the pirate version that has the different rates of fire. Yeah. I wonder if we go, like we could take the pair of Thunderbolts and then grab the uh, HE ammo. How many rounds are in here? 12 shots. Hmm. Slug ammo for TBM, really, eh? Minus 90% damage delta armor. Plus one recoil, minus one accuracy. 15 hit points, which isn't bad. 12 shots. How much stability? 200% stability. So what is the stability damage of these things anyway? 7.5, so it does 15. That's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's take... These have got like nice range and no heat. So I'm going to grab these. And I'll grab the HE. 
and hope we get the slug. It's not much here. So some harasser parts, the mortar truck we got, Saracen, Stinger part, Urban Mech part, Mortar 2. The only problem with Mortar 2 is like, unless you have lots of them, it's like two tons is kind of wasted. You're not really doing a whole lot of damage, although it is AoE. That can go, that can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. Holy crap. Yeah, we didn't really get anything that uh, is of that much value. How much does this thing weigh? Two tons? Three heat? I do have mortar fours though right now. Let's hang on to it. You never, you never, uh, I don't know. You never know. Let's just hold on to it. All right, 9,000. Yeah, well, that was a pretty easy mission. Unfortunately, it wasn't difficult. Now, I think there's going to be command center here. Let's have a quick look to see if there's anything more difficult. I mean, there's a ambush convoy. I mean, that's guaranteed two lances at one and a half. There's a one and a half here, too. Local government, though. There's a three here I want to take with the other lance. It's a uh, against a group of Marion Battle Max at three skulls. That would be a nice battle. I'll probably use our second lance for this one next episode. And then we'll go into... Yeah, we'll probably go into one of these guys, I think, the one and a half. Maybe the ambush convoy for the uh, the quick sell lance, I think, after that. Anyways, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free, feel free to subscribe. And please do uh, check out those quick sell items. They're actually not that bad. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>